from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. The study says that half of all Americans spend their entire paycheck or more every month. Well, yeah, I mean, isn't that the American dream? They say scammers are out in force after that Equifax hack last week. For the full list, just send $50 cash to me. Unmarked bills, please. No return address necessary. Laughter may be the best medicine to get you pregnant, says two professional accredited medical clowns. Red-nosed jokesters are commonly used in Israeli hospitals to help relieve stress. A study at the Asaf Harofen Medical Center and published in Fertility and Sterility Journal proves that 36 percent of the women undergoing in vitro fertilization treatments who were entertained by clowns became pregnant compared to 20 percent of those who did not see the bozos. Now, actually, I don't think this is about laughter. We're talking about using clowns here. How do we know it's not just sheer terror that helps get you pregnant? A group of professional clowns are planning a protest outside of a movie theater showing the new movie It, saying the film is bad for their business. Uh, hey, hey guys, uh, that ship sailed with John Wayne Gacy. People who work as clowns are not happy with the hit horror movie It, saying it's scaring kids and making it that much harder for them to find work. Fewer clowns around kids. You know, I'm not seeing that as a bad thing. In Milford, Connecticut, 48-year-old Leslie Lang was arrested after police say she put her own poop on her estranged husband's toothbrush and thus violated a protection order. Lang's arrest was the result of an investigation into a complaint filed by her estranged husband that she had tampered with his personal property. Police sent a DNA sample taken from Lang to the state lab for testing along with the toothbrush. The lab confirmed that Lang's DNA matched the feces on the toothbrush. <laughs> Talk about a potty mouth! Finding that old flame on Facebook could lead to more than you bargained for. The renewal of that not-so-innocent friendship might end in marital disaster. Facebook is cited as evidence in 66 percent of divorces in the U.S., according to a survey by the American Academy of Matrimonial Lawyers. In addition, more than 80 percent of divorce lawyers reported that they have seen an increase in the number of cases using social networking evidence during the past few years. In other words, don't poke the X. Wait, wait that, that came out wrong. I mean, still, don't poke the X, but uh, uh, never mind. 61 percent of Americans say it's time for Hillary Clinton to retire. That's up from 46 percent that said so last November. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is dedicated to my friends at Cross International. With the devastating hurricanes that hit Texas and Florida, it's easy to forget others in need around the world, such as South Sudan, where children are literally starving to death. So I've teamed up with Cross International, and I'm asking you, my official weirdos, to save a life today. A single gift of $60 will feed a child for a full five months. You can also ask that part of your gift go to hurricane relief, so you're helping both causes at the same time. Call 866-822-4883 to donate now. That's 866-822-4883. Or give online by clicking the Cross International banner at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. To become an official weirdo, click that subscribe button and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be a part of the notification squad. While you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you are an official weirdo.